It's Minx Moise Elegant. Yes, I'm here for another edition of the Waffle Wacky Weather and Stuff that I like to present to you folk in my unique brand of rude language and waffled crap. Okay, let's get right into it, shall we? Hometown, as we always begin with, being the most livable city in the world, according to... Fuck! According to statistics, let's just uh, get my tongue untied, shall we? Melbourne's weather for Wednesday. Looks like a pretty shitty week in an overview, but anyway. Wednesday, mostly sunny. A top of 23 and a low of 10. Thursday is mostly sunny, and I don't have. Um, I do apologise for looking away and down onto my iPad and not through to the camera. I don't have my setup the way I normally do with my screen behind me and all the information available for me to read from with my head tilted upwards. So you're just gonna have to fucking deal with me looking down, okay, folks? Yeah, great. Didn't think you'd fucking mind. All right. Thursday, sunny, 25 and 10. Friday, possible showers. Now, see, you know what? A top of 31, though, that's not fucking bad. That's getting there. And a low of 11, but this possible bullshit. Why can't these motherfuckers from the Bureau of Meteorology give us some definites? I'm not wanting possibles. I don't want maybes. I want fucking it's going to or it's not. It's going to be dry as a nun's nasty or it's going to be as moist as a fucking King's Cross hooker. Now, you know what? I just realised I don't even know if King's Cross hookers are moist. And I'm not willing to try and find out. I'm sorry, that's just not my style. My style is more St Kilda hooker. Yeah, that's right. Grey Street, baby. Mm -mm. Tranny Lane. Yeah, can't whistle. That's fine. Oh, thank you for the whistling sound effects in the background. Shut up! Sorry, I've got a lounge room full of people that I'm doing this in front of. I'm finding it quite disconcerting, as you can tell, because I hate performing. And I... The attention gives me the shits. Yeah, right. Okay. Now, where were we up to? I think I did Friday. Yeah, Did I do Friday? Yeah, thanks. Okay, Saturday. We've got a... Oh, it's starting to creep up. Saturday, we've got showers, but it's a low of 17. So it's going to be balmy showers. Balmy showers and a top of 25. Mm -mm. And it says showers. There's no possible. There's no maybe. That seems like a bit of a definite. Wow, they've committed. I bet you a million dollars on sat next Saturday. It doesn't fucking rain a drop. I bet you. Let's wait and see, shall we? I'm not putting money on that, but let's just say, I betcha. Okay, now, and Sunday for Melbourne, finally, the end of the week, the, uh, the day before the tedious grind before reality bites and bites down hard on Monday morning, when Monday comes in like a Mack truck with no brakes, you'll be thinking that, fuck, I wish it was Sunday again because it's going to be a top of 22, mostly sunny, and a low of 11, and of course the low will be overnight. Moving right up to our Sydney city, the one all the dumb fucks who have got no geographical idea think it's the capital of this country and it's not. God, that gives me this. Just because they've got a fucking pretty harbour and this great big fucking bridge, they think they're the... Anyway, Sydney, great place to visit, excellent place to have fun, but a lovely place to leave as well. Okay, Sydney on Wednesday, we've got showers, yep. Fucking Sydney showers, but it's a top of 23, and it's a low of 11. Oh, shit, misread that. So, low of 16. Thursday, mostly sunny. Now, what does mostly mean? It's either sunny or it's not. It's either sunny or it's cloudy. They've said mostly sunny with a 10% chance of rain, which I guess means there's not going to be much moisture. I'm not going into the, humid the humidity. I'm not going to go... Oh, you know, we've got a whole heap of information here. That oh, the pollen... Oh, that's what I, I think it was the second episode I started talking about pollen, with the pollen count and shit. And I'm not about to start doing it now. So, Thursday is mostly sunny, high of 25 and a low of 16. Friday is mostly sunny with a top of 26 and a low of 17. Saturday is possible sh Fuck that word! Possible showers. Look, there's an 80% chance of rain. I'd say it's going to get moist. So and that's however though, a top of 32, it's going to be balmy moisture, and that's right. Maybe not so dislike the uh, Gold Coast, I do believe, with the humidity and shit, Queensland. Lovely state. Shame about the fucking residents. Oh, did I say that? Yes, of course I did. It's my segment. I can say what I fucking want, as I stated before. 
High of 32, low of 18, with possible showers. What a shitty, non-committal word, really possible. Is it possible? I don't give a fuck if it's possible. I want to know, I want to know motherfucking definites, you know what I'm saying? Fuck this possibility bullshit, it makes me, provokes my anxiety. Sunday's a high of 25 and a low of 18, with possible showers, but only a 60% chance of rain on that one. Now, to our nation's capital, Capital ter the Australian Capital Territory, otherwise known as Canberra, where all those fucking politicians reside. I hate them. They're like school kids in a schoolyard. It's revolting, and the fact that they're running our country makes me nauseous and it gives me gas. And you have you ever seen a drag queen with gas? It ain't pretty bitches. I ain't fucking kidding you. Okay, Canberra, let's chew through this because let's, you know, I give those motherfuckers enough time as it is. Wednesday, high 23, low of 5. Sunny, Thursday, 25, low of 5. Sunny, Friday, mostly sunny, 27 and 6. Saturday, 31, showers, low of 10. Sunday, 24, showers, low of 7. Canberra, gone, good, fine, fuck them. God, I hate that fucking, just the thought of them. The thought of those fat cats that wear pain for every women luxury they could possibly want. The, I would love to mention names, but my editor takes out segments when I start mentioning names because we're meant to be politically neutral here on Pride TV. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, let's leave it there. Taz, oh, I've been through Tassie and I don't like doing, you know what, let's do, let's, let's fucking go crazy. I'm going to do... Hobart, yes, Tassie's capital, Wednesday, oh shit, it showers, showers, mostly sunny one day out of the five I'm forecasting. God, Tassie, you got shit weather down there, don't you? The shit fucking two-headed fucking people too. Oh, did I say that? Oops. Uh, mm. Well, I did a shout out last week to the only cunt that was worth exporting from that state. And she's a cunt, but fuck, I love her, she's a funny bitch. Hi Jess, I know you're watching. You know I was going to mention you again. Now, Hobart, Wednesday, we got showers with a high of a high of 19 and a low of 7. Thursday is showers again with a high of 18 and a low of 11. Friday's the only sunny day for the five-day forecast that I'm producing for Tasmania. And that is a high of 23 and a low of 10. Saturday is more showers with a high of 19 and a low of 12, and Sunday is a high of 18, and a low of 9, with showers again. Um, so, if you're down in Tassie, grab your brolly. It's going to be a shitty-ass fucking week for you folk down there. Darwin, Christ, say it with me. We've done this before. I'm not doing it, because guess what? It's going to be fucking hot! Really fucking hot! Scotching! Yes, and by now you should have all been able to sing that with me, because I've... Uh, I think I've done that verbatim each time. So, let's go up the eastern coast, shall we, before we head west, before we go west, in the words of the uh, Pet Shop Boys. No. Brisbane, will you shut up? I'm trying to do a weather report! Sorry. Would you go, would you motherfuckers go speaking if there was an on-air flashing sign if you were at a fucking radio station? No! no, no. See what I have to deal with? It's fucking out of control. You'll speak with... Oh, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You... No, yes, I can. One of my bestest, bestest friends and, well, I deem family members is Filipino and I always give him shit because he's been here, like, most of his life. But he still speak with slanty eye. <laughs> and I can say this because my partner is Vietnamese. So I'm not being racist for all you politically correct fucking do-gooders out there. Well, I'll try... Let's face it, there ain't any fucking politically correct do-gooders watching this shit, are there? Because they'd be offended within 30 seconds of the broadcast. So, he speak with slanty eye, but I love him very much. He's very, very good. He, uh, he talk too much, but he still speak like this, even though he be him mostly life. Yeah, I don't get it. Christ, it's weird. His mum, who was born in the Philippines, has been here less time than him has more of an English accent than him. It's fucking bizarre. Anyway, let's not go there. Okay, Brisbane. Ha! Ha! Bris Vegas. Wednesday. Oh, sunny. Thursday, sunny. Friday, showers. Saturday, showers. Sunday, showers. Late, showers. But 
that doesn't drop below 28. Okay, let me do it in more detail. Wednesday, high of 31, low of 20. Yes, sunny. Thursday, 28 and 20. Friday, 30 and 20, but that's got showers. But it's only a 40% chance of showers. You see, you know what? Friday has possible showers. Thursday has mostly sunny. They've both got 40% chance of rain. How the fuck does that work, Bureau? Riddle me that one, Joker. Anyway, Saturday, showers, Sunday, showers, Saturday having a high of 31 and a low of 19, and Sunday with a high of 29 and a low of 20. Now, let's move over to my favourite city in the south of Australia, the Pot City Central, dope capital, and per capita, the most serial killers per person out of any other state in this country or territory. That's a true fact. Look it up, folks. So basically, if you're living in South Australia or Adelaide, the odds you're going to turn out to be a serial, if you're born there, turn out to be a serial killer or of the such, are quite high according to the statistics. But you know what? What have I told you bastards about statistics? You can find any statistics to support any fact. It's true story. It's fucking ridiculous is what it is, but, just, yeah, anyway. Moving on. Wednesday, waffle. Wednesday is a high of 24, a low of 11, and it's mostly sunny. Thursday in Adelaide is a high of 28 and a low of 12, mostly sunny. It's all mostly sunny. Adelaide, you're leading the way. You really are. With fucking weather. Oh, shit. Hang on a minute. That means two days after each one of those, Melbourne should get the same thing. Roughly how it works, I've been told. But mind you, the person who told me that knows diddly shit about fucking weather. They're certainly not a fucking meteorologist. And um, and their credibility on general knowledge is fucked up anyway. So you know what? Forget I said it. Ah, Friday, high of 27, low of 15. Saturday, high of 23, low of 14. Sunday, high of 26, low of 15. And if you remember, all of those days, I said earlier, are mostly sunny. Perfect pot growing weather. That's right, you heard me... I mean, oh, hang on, cultivation, I know nothing about that. No, I really don't. But apparently everybody in Adelaide does. Thinking about moving there. Now let's, oh, we've got to do it. We've got to go from coast to coast. Let's hit the west of Australia, shall we? Western Australia, let's go to Perth. I'm not even, I'm not even, I, I don't need to. If you've ever visited there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Wednesday is a high of 30 and a low of 17, and it's mostly sunny. Thursday is showers with a high of 23 and a low of 15. Friday is clearing showers, so it looks like, well, Thursday it's going to be showering a lot, and then it's going to be clearing on the Friday, and that would have a top of 23 and a low of 12. Saturday, mostly sunny, high of 26, a low of 11, and Sunday will be possible showers with a high of 24, and a low of 14. Now, not doing the red centre. Told you that I ain't doing Darwin. Too fucking hot. Don't really do anything else. Aren't going up to the Gold Coast. Guess what, folks? The weather's done. You made it. <laughs>